So I've used Arch Linux on and off for the last five-ish years, and I really like Arch Linux. It feels good to be able to say, I use Arch by the way. But I have a few gripes with Arch Linux that I'd like to just get out there into the world and put down on paper, so to speak. Uh, see, my, my main issue is that Arch Linux just isn't very secure compared to other Linux distros. So let's dig into that. With all of that being said, let's dig right in. Arch Linux is one of the most popular Linux distributions in the world. Everybody knows the meme, I use Arch by the way. Anybody who's even vaguely associated in the technology space has heard the meme, I use Arch by the way. It seems like Arch is the end goal for everybody who switches to Linux. It has this mystique about it. It has this certain je ne sais quoi. Uh, <laughs> it has some attributes that make it really appealing. But I think that we don't talk enough about the attributes that make it unappealing. And specifically, I want to talk about the ones related to security, because there's a lot to unpack here. So Arch Linux lets you build your distribution from the ground up. When you install Arch Linux, you're not just installing a cookie cutter copy of the operating system. You're making a bespoke, customized, and unique instance of Arch Linux by installing the packages that you desire. People love this Lego Bic, this Lego Bic? <laughs> This Lego brick building functionality, people love it. And I get why. It feels really good to use a system that is bespoke to you. And Arch Linux makes it really easy, especially with new Arch installs. Now, there are people who will say, you're not a man if you use the Arch install script. And to that I say, okay, fine. The Arch install script is great, but it is missing something very important. But we'll talk about that in just a moment. One other good thing I want to say about Arch is that it gets updates faster than pretty much any other distribution. So when there's security fixes out for the software you use, if you're on Arch, you get it like instantly. All right, so obviously Arch Linux is like a, a really good Linux distribution, and it's something that a lot of people reasonably want to use. So why do I say it's not as secure as it should be? Well, I have two reasons. And reason number one is the fact that there's no mandatory access control system, a Mac. Uh, what is a mandatory access control system? Well, you can think of it as an additional layer of permissions on top of the default Linux file permission model. Uh, essentially, a mandatory access control system says, this identity this is able to use these files or these services. So it's a way for you to divide up more granularly than what's available in the Linux file permissions model. It allows you to do stuff like, say, if the HTTP process tries to access the shadow file, then that will be blocked, which is not something that would be blocked normally. I hope that makes sense. Mandatory access control systems are complicated, uh, but they are important. Because, like that example I just gave, let's say you're running a web server on Arch, which... I don't know why you'd do that. <laughs> People do crazy stuff. But let's just pretend that somebody's running a web server on Arch, and then the HTTPD process gets compromised. Well, now that process is able to modify the shadow file, and from there it can get into the system's roots. Uh, if you have a mandatory access control system in place, it'll say, no, stop, HTTPD process is not allowed to modify the shadow file and therefore it would be limited, it would containerize the breach. So the problem here is that Arch Linux doesn't come with a mandatory access control system by default. Well, it doesn't come with anything by default because it's not just a pre distribution. Again, this is something you're building by hand. Uh, the problem is almost every tutorial on how to set up Arch Linux completely ignores SE Linux, and, which is the mandatory access control system that's compatible. Uh, almost every tutorial ignores SE Linux. Like, they, I, I would 
It, I would love to see an Arch Linux installation tutorial where they actually set up SE Linux. If you can find one, let me know, because I'm curious to see if that's a thing that people even do. Okay, and reason number two, the AUR. So a lot of people install Arch Linux specifically for access to the AUR. They want access to the AUR, and for context, the AUR is the Arch user repository. It's basically a place for people to upload software for other people to download. Okay, they're not really uploading it, but you, you get the point. It's a place for people to put lists of software that you can install on Arch Linux. Now, if you follow what you're supposed to do, Every time you install something from the AUR, you'll read the package build script. Uh, does anyone actually do this? I've, I've never seen anyone actually do this. So, you know, it, here's, here's my problem. The AUR is full of malicious packages. It seems like a new malicious package is getting discovered every week. Like, the fact that anybody in the world can add packages to this list of software for Arch Linux means there's going to be malicious packages there. And I can guarantee you, people are not reading the package build. And so what happens is people get hacked and they don't even know it. It's, uh, it, so the AUR is kind of the equivalent of going on Windows and Googling for the name of the software you want and clicking what looks like the legitimate link. That's pretty much what using the AUR is like. So overall, compared to other distributions, Arch Linux just isn't that secure. And, you know, when, when we compare it to something like Fedora Silverblue, which has an immutable read-only root file system and a mandatory access control system built in, uh, the, Arch Linux just starts to look like a joke in terms of security. Like, I don't get me wrong, I like Arch Linux and I think that it's really cool. Uh, I just don't think that it's as secure as it should be, and it concerns me that it's getting so popular, because it seems like everybody who switches to Linux wants to use Arch so that they can be in the cool club, you know? Uh, and that concerns me, because, you know, Arch Linux is a really bad experience for a first-time Linux user in more ways than just security. Uh, you know, everyone's always memes about how Arch Linux breaks really easily. I've never had it break on me, and I've ran it for years. Uh, but, you know, your mileage may vary. Anyway, that's enough from me. Thank you for watching. My name was Patrick, I'm your cybersecurity engineer, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, and uh, if you liked the video, you know what to do. If you want to see more from me, you know what to do. Subscribe. There's the button right down there. It'd mean a lot to me if you clicked it. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.